The 1989 UK two pence coins feature Queen Elizabeth II obverse, with portrait by Raphael Maclouf, and inscription Elizabeth II. The reverse design by Christopher Ironside shows a badge of Prince of Wales. The coin is made of bronze, weighs 7.12 grams and has a diameter of 25.91 millimeters. The mintage for this year was substantial, making it a common coin. In, con in circulated condition, its value is minimal, but in extremely fine condition, it might fetch slightly higher. In uncirculated or higher grades, it can be valued at a few dollars depending on market demand. According to NGC price guide in Main State 65, 1989 2 pence is worth one dollar. This circulated specimen shows signs of circulation rub and exposure to air or humidity, as a copper red luster is long gone. Only tiny bits of luster are evident around protected areas. Next up, here we have 1975 10 new pens from United Kingdom. It's 1975 UK 10 new pens features Queen Elizabeth II of worse and inscription Elizabeth II. The reverse, designed by Christopher Ironside, displays crowned lion, a traditional symbol of Britain, with denomination 10 above and new pens below. The coin is made of copper and nickel, weighs 11.31 grams and has a diameter of 28.5 millimeters. The mintage for 1975 was relatively high, making it a common coin. In circulated condition it holds minimal value, but in extremely fine condition it can fetch a bit more. In uncirculated or higher grades, its value can reach a few dollars depending on market demand. This is heavily circulated specimen, but no massive wear is evident on either side. However, contact marks are in abundance. Now this is very charming specimen, 2013 Australian $1 coin, which features Queen Elizabeth II of birth. The inscription Elizabeth II, Australia, 2013. The reverse designed by Stuart Dolan depicts five kangaroos. The coin is made of aluminium bronze, weighs 9 grams and has a diameter of 25 millimeters. In about uncirculated condition, the coin shows minimal wear and retains most of its original luster. The 2013 mintage was substantial, so it is common in circulation. Its value in AU condition is generally close to its face value, but it might be worth slightly more to collectors looking for high-grade examples, typically fetching few dollars above face value, depending on demand. The 1956 Australian penny features Queen Elizabeth II on a verse with, with portrait by Mary Gillick and the inscription Elizabeth II, the Gratia Regina. The reverse designed by George Kruger Gray depicts a kangaroo bounding to the left with inscription Australia above and penny below, along with year 1956. The coin is made of bronze, weighs 9.45 grams and has a diameter of 30.8 millimeters. In extremely fine condition, the coin exhibits minor wear on the highest points and retains much of its original detail and luster. The 1956 penny is relatively common and in extremely fine condition it's valued at a few dollars, with higher prices for coins with superior eye appeal. In mean state 65, 1956 Australian pennies worth 30, 35 dollars. Proof versions are extremely valuable. PR or MS65 specimens are valued at $4,500 according to NGC price guide. The 1980 Australian 20 cent coin features Queen Elizabeth II on obverse. The reverse design by Stuart Devlin shows a platypus swimming with water ripples and the denomination 20 above. The coin is made of copper and nickel, weighs 11.31 grams and has a diameter of 28.52 millimeters. The mintage for 1950 was relatively high, making it a common coin in circulated condition. Its value is generally minimal. 
In extremely fine condition, it retains much of its original detail and luster and can be worn slightly more, but it usually holds a value close to face value unless in uncirculated condition, where it might fetch a few dollars from collectors. In June, one specimen in extremely fine condition was sold for $3.50 in an eBay auction. 1986 UK two-pence coin features Queen Elizabeth II on obverse. The reverse, designed by Christopher Ironside, displays the badge of Prince of Wales. The coin is made of bronze, weighs 7.12 grams and has a diameter of 25.91 mm. The mintage for this year was substantial, making it a common coin. In circulated condition, its value is minimal. In extremely fine condition, it might fetch a bit more, but generally remains close to face value, unless in uncirculated condition where it might be valued slightly higher by collectors. On eBay, these two pence coins in higher circulated condition sell for less than $3. The 1971 new two pence coin from United Kingdom is part of the symbolization of British currency system. It features an obverse design with right-facing portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. The reverse design by Christopher Ironside shows a badge of Prince of Wales consisting of plume of three ostrich feathers within coronet. This coin is made of bronze composed of 97% copper, 2.5% zinc and 0.5% tin. It weighs 7.12 grams and has a diameter of 25.9 mm and a thickness of 1.85 mm. The edge of the coin is plain. The introduction of two new pence coin in 1971 was part of a broader transition to decimal currency system in the United Kingdom, replacing the old system of pounds, shillings and pence. Typically, these coins are worth their face value of 2 pence. On eBay, you might find them selling for around 50 cents to $1 each due to shipping costs and convenience. Brilliant and circulated coins, they can fetch higher prices, usually ranging from $1 to $5. Next up from my collection is a well-traveled 1973 10 new pence. Just to take a look at it. You can almost feel the history in your hands. Sure, it's been through many hands and pockets, showing its journey with numerous contact marks and gouges that add character. You'll notice some small, large nicks on the rims, but despite its travels, the design elements remain impressively sharp. This piece bears only mild signs of circulation wear, making it a testament to its enduring quality and charm. The value of 1973 10 new pence coin can vary depending on its condition and demand in the market. Typically, in circulated conditions, these coins are generally valued around face value or slightly higher due to their common nature. Coins in higher grades, such as uncirculated or in excellent condition, may fetch a bit more, often ranging from a few dollars around 5 to 10 USD in online auctions like eBay. Thanks for exploring Commonwealth coins featuring Queen Elizabeth II from my collection. Each coin tells a story of history and heritage. Which one caught your eye? Comment below, subscribe for more numismatic insights, and like and share if you enjoyed the journey through these fascinating pieces of history. God's willing, see you in the next episode.